This is Extreme Makeover. <laughs> Melissa Jones is a loving wife and devoted mother who works part-time at a local diner. Her life is now happy and full, but the painful teenage memories stirred up by the upcoming high school reunion tell a different story. Everybody says high school was hard, but this was, it was more than hard. I mean, it was torturous at times. I was called Dumbo for my big ears, and I was called, you know, Pinocchio for my nose. I mean, those were the nice names that I was called. Then it was time for Melissa to meet with Dr. Fisher. Good to see you. I'm Dr. Fisher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What are the issues that you want to talk about uh -huh. today? Well, I know that I want to do something about my ears. Show me how you'd like your ears to look. I just want them against my head. I just don't want them to be so noticeable. I want to be able to wear my hair in a ponytail and not, not feel like right. I've got to hide my okay. ears. And tell me what you'd like to do with your nose. I, I don't like anything about it, really. The bottom of it probably bothers me the most. I wish it looked a little more feminine. I feel like it's manly. OK, so you want to just change your nose. <laughs> I just don't like it. want a new one. <laughs> right? <laughs> OK. I think he's so kind and so gentle. And he looked me right in the face. And he, he made me feel like I was at home. I really felt like he really cared about me and, and cared about how, how I was feeling. Now, we're going to talk to you about your breasts. Mm -hmm. Now, you feel like they're down too low, or? Yeah, and I don't want big breasts, but I'd like to be able to fill in the skin that I've got. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably a full A. Well, one thing to tell you is, is <clears throat> what we generally use are saline implants. Mm -hmm. And your body's 75% saline. You can drink mm -hmm. what we put in the implant. Mm -hmm. The most common problem that you have to worry about with breast implants is what's called capsular contracture, and that means getting a hard breast. And, mm -hmm. you know, roughly 15% of women get really hard breasts after mm -hmm. implantation. And the reason why that happens is when you put something in your body that's not you, your body forms scar tissue around it sure. because it recognizes that it's different and wants to protect mm -hmm. you from it. Melissa wanted to be a full C bra size and, you know, fill out her outfits a little bit better. And um, I think by putting those implants in, she's going to look really natural and it's going to help her a lot. She'll feel a lot more confident. I think she's going to look great. Well, this is extra skin. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're going to get rid of this, I think, is by doing a little bit of a tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. We're going to make an incision from here mm -hmm. that goes all the way over to here. OK. And then we take out all this skin. OK. I'm so excited and so looking forward to it. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. This is probably the most amazing day of my life. I feel so much emotion towards this. This is something for my whole life has bothered me. And, and to know now that it could actually be taken care of is very moving to me. Melissa and David's transformation is about to begin. Melissa is getting a nose job, her ears pinned back, a brow lift, breast implants, a tummy tuck, and LASIK eye surgery. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good to nice see, to you. see you. You're getting ready to go here, yeah, huh? Yeah. You nervous? I'm a little bit, but not not a lot. We're gonna bring this ear back more like this. Raise this up more like that. Right. Yeah, I love how that looks. Mm -hmm. Now for your nose, mm -hmm. most of the work is gonna be done in between here. Right. That looks like a full C to me. <laughs> so we're gonna hang this up on the wall and try to make you look just like this. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> and some oxygen here. We're going to do her ears first. Now, let's get these measurements down. I was just trying to get the baseline measurement of where, how far her ears were from her scalp that we have to measure and try to make both ears the same. She had some excessive cartilage to bring the ears back and then I had to create a fold and try to make her ear look less prominent. Melissa has a, a very challenging nose and it looks very masculine. Uh, she's got uh, malpositioned and large cartilages at the tip of her nose that need to be rotated back in position and trimmed so her tip's not as boxy and um, you know, it's, it's a formidable problem and I think she's gonna look really good. We've done the otoplasty, we've done the brow lift, and we've done our rhinoplasty, which was a pretty extensive one, and everything's great. And next we'll do the breast augmentation. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make an incision underneath the nipple. I'm going to go down to the muscle and split the muscle, uh, lift it up, and I'm going to put the implant partially underneath the muscle. We use saline implants, and these are 350 cc's. So she'll probably be a full C with this. They're going to look really natural in about a month. Melissa's last procedure will be a tummy tuck to remove excess skin and stretch marks. We've cut off the excess skin. Now we're bringing the uh, 
old belly button out in a new location. Everything's great. She looks really good. I think it's gonna look really, really nice and natural. I'm very happy with it. Melissa's surgery is finally over, and she is wheeled into recovery. Take a big deep breath. Make sure you take a big deep breath. Oh, good. Now that Melissa is safely through surgery, she begins the long and difficult process of recuperation. How are you feeling? Okay? And you just take a look. Your surgery went great. Everything went really, really well. Your breasts went great too. Uh, I think you're gonna be a full C, which is what you wanted. They look fabulous. Um, and then uh, your tummy, I just wanna make sure that you're always in this position. You're gonna do really, really well. You'll heal up fine. Okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. And now, it's Melissa's turn to see her new face. Hello. Hi. Melissa, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Let's see. It's been a week now. Uh-huh. Exactly. I'm excited. You, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll let you hold on to that one. Oh, my gosh. Let's look at your ears. They look really good. They're swollen. I can't even believe it. Oh my gosh. One of the biggest changes is your eyes. I My eyes look wonderful. Your eyebrows are up a lot more now and you can see more of your eyes and I think that's going to look really good from oh, doing your yeah. brow lift. As far as your breast and your tummy tuck, I uh -huh. want to look at those too. Okay. I think you got your full C that you wanted. Yes, definitely. I'm very happy with that. Now for your tummy, mm -hmm. I got this much skin off. A lot of skin and a lot wow. of uh, stretch marks. Wow. I don't want to this hurt you. This is my most exciting thing. All right, let's take a look here. It's absolutely amazing. The most exciting thing I was ready to look at was my stomach, and that was the high point up until he showed me my nose. Take this off here. Oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so different. I think now it's going to look. The good thing is your nose is going to get better and better and better as time goes on. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. Now, it's back to Sacramento for Melissa's turn. <laughs> Melissa's extreme makeover included having her ears pinned back, a brow lift, and a nose job. Melissa also received breast implants and a tummy tuck. This whole from beginning to end is, is a fairy tale. It, it's a wonderful fairy tale.